G'day mates, today we're talking about ResMed's climate control. What the hell is it? How does it work? And how do you adjust it to make your CPAP therapy more comfortable? All right, let's jump in. Now, in order to access climate control on your AirSense 10 or AirSense 11 device, you will need one of these bad boys. It's a ResMed Climate Line heated tube. And if you don't have a heated tube, well, then you won't have access to climate control on your menu system. So if you want to pick one up, check out the links in the description of the video down below. But this heated tube, it has a heater element that runs the length of the tube, but it also has, at the mask end, a little sensor. And this sensor monitors the air temperature inside the tube, but also the humidity, how much water vapor is in that air. So it's a very smart tube system. Now, before we begin, I want to show you one thing. Currently on my device here, my AirSense 10 Auto Set, brand new, I have no tube attached. And when I go into the My Options, you will see I can scroll down. It has humidity level. Even with no heated tube, I still have access to humidity, which is great. But watch what happens now when I plug in my Climate Line tube. And I'm going to attempt this one handed. Reminds me of my teenage years trying to unclip a bra strap got it <laughs> it's in the tubes in the tubes in now you can see the menu system has changed look what else we've got now we've got here climate control and we've also got tube temp fantastic so what is resmed referring to when they mention climate control what are they talking about well it's two things the first one is humidity. How much water vapor is in the air? And this is important because adding humidity to the air is going to help alleviate dryness, dry nose, dry throat, dry mouth caused by the therapy, and also congestion. Shrinking of the nasal passages, making it harder to breathe. So when we add that moisture content, it's going to help alleviate those common side effects. And the second thing is the air temperature. That's the climate line tube system. We can adjust the temperature of the air. And we'll go through this in a minute. So let's dive into some of these settings and we'll talk about it, starting with the climate control mode. So you can see here, if I click this in, we can run a climate control in two modes, a manual mode and an automatic mode. And it's really important that you understand the differences between those two modes because there is a big, big difference in how it adjusts the climate. And we'll start with the automatic mode. Now, I imagine that most of you watching this will have your machine set up like mine with both your climate control and your tube temp set to automatic. And I imagine that's because you don't fully understand how it works and there's something very attractive about that word automatic, isn't there? It means we don't really have to think about it. The machine will automatically just do its job and hopefully everything will turn out okay. But that's not always the case, all right? What happens if you've got these two set to auto, but you're still dry in the mouth? How can you get more humidity to alleviate that dryness? Or what if it's the middle of summer and you're finding the, the air temperature too hot on auto? How can you change it? And then what effect does that have on the humidity level? These are things to consider. And that's why I want to really educate you on this climate control. So you know what it's doing and then also how to adjust it to suit your needs as the seasons change, whatever works for you guys. All right. Okay. So here's what you need to understand. When you set your climate control to automatic, the heated humidifier is going to automatically adjust the level of humidity. That is the amount of water vapor in the air higher or lower depending on the air temperature inside the tube that's the important part it's dependent on the air temperature the warmer the air temperature inside the tube the more humidity will automatically be added to that air temperature the lower the air temperature the less humidity will automatically be added that's what it's doing resmed is aiming for an 85 percent relative humidity to whatever the air temperature is at that point in time. And warmer air 
can hold more moisture than colder air. Think about stepping off a plane when you're, when you're visiting the tropics, you get hit by that high humidity. And why is it so high? It's because the air temperature's hot. It can hold that water vapor. How it all works, ResMed's just copied meteorologists. <laughs> all right, so that's how it works. Now I know what you're thinking, but the tube temp is also automatic. Does that mean the tube temperature is gonna fluctuate automatically through the night to suit the humidity level? No. When we set our tube temp to automatic, what the device is doing is it's gonna try and stop the air temperature inside the tube from falling below a set level. And that set level, when on automatic, is 27 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if the temperature's above that, just in your room temp, then it's not gonna magically come down. It's not a reverse cycle air conditioner, although that would be amazing. There's a tip of ResMed, reverse cycle air conditioner in your CPAP machine. That'd be pretty sweet. No, it'll, it'll stay where it is. However, if the temperature in the night drops below that level, let's just say five o'clock in the morning, cools down, goes to 22 degrees, then the heater coil that runs through, that heater element that runs through the tube will heat up the air back up to try and keep it above or around that 27 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, keep it nice and stable. So the, the word automatic there is a little bit misleading. So here's how we can adjust it. Now, if you wake up in the morning and you are still dry in the throat, well, how are you gonna get more humidity if the climate controls on auto? Well, we need to increase the temperature of the air. That's how we can do it. So we scroll down to our tube temp, now it's on auto, but we know auto is 27 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So if I rotate down, you can see here, oh, there you go. So I can bring it up to 28, 29, 30. I can bring it up further and that will add automatically more moisture to the air. Now the ResMed devices are even smarter than that. They're, they're really monitoring more than just the air temp inside the tube, they're monitoring the atmospheric humidity, they're monitoring leak rates, mouth leak, a whole bunch of stuff. But the main, the main thing there is the tube temp. So increase that tube temp if you want more humidity. If you're finding the air temp too hot and you're like, no, I wanna bring down this humidification, I mean the tube temp, that's fine if you wanna bring down the tube temperature, but you need to remember that if you are lowering that tube temperature, you are automatically lowering the humidification at the same time, okay? That's how it all works. So just keep that in mind. Some of you go, oh, geez, this air's a bit warm. I'm gonna turn that tube temp down, but keep my climate control on automatic. Yeah, you can do that, no problem. But you are automatically, as a result, bringing down the level of humidification. I know it's a little bit confusing, but just remember the warmer the air, the more moisture will automatically be added to that air. The lower the air temp, automatically less moisture. Got it? It's tricky. It's very tricky. I don't blame you if you don't understand it. It took me a while to get my head around it as well. Um, and I think most sleep techs probably still don't understand it, which is why 99% of them just tell their patients, yeah, just, just sit on automatic and she'll be right, mate. <laughs> okay, so, so that's the automatic. Now we're gonna talk about manual and there's a big difference with manual. So let's change it to manual. All right, now when I turned it to manual, you can see now I have here the humidity level. That wasn't there before, was it? We just had climate control auto because it was automatically adjusting humidity level. Now I have an option to change the humidity level myself and I can run it between zero, which is completely off, or right up to eight, which is maximum humidity. Now in manual, the tube air temp and the humidity level are no longer in sync. They are completely independent of each other. Remember before we changed the air temp, the humidity follows. Now this isn't the case. We have complete control over both of them. As I'm going up from zero, one, two, each level of humidity corresponds with a set determined level of moisture added to the air, independent of the air temperature, okay? Independence, that's what it's about when it's manual. 
So I might set the humidity level at four, and then I can also set the tube temp to whatever I like as well. Now let's quickly run through a scenario where using manual mode might be more beneficial than automatic mode and give us a bit more flexibility. Now let's just say it's the middle of winter and we want nice warm air. However, we don't like humidity. We don't like that thick, moist air. When we're in automatic, we cannot increase the tube temperature without it automatically adjusting the humidity upwards as well. But in manual mode, I can set my tube temp nice and high, right up at 30 to really take the edge of that, that cool air in winter, especially if you're somewhere that's got a, a really cold, <laughs> if you're living in Antarctica <laughs> or Russia or you know New York even, I guess. Um, I imagine that gets pretty cold in winter. Um, but then you can come down here to humidity and you can now reduce the humidity. We can bring that down. We could have it completely off if we want. So there's no moisture in the air, super dry, warm air. Okay. That's a little scenario where you can use it. So it does give you that ability to decouple your humidity level and your tube temp. So you can play around with those two values independently. All righty. And that's, and that's pretty much it. It is super confusing, but the take home message is this. With ResMed's climate control feature, we can adjust the air temperature and also the humidity, how much water vapor is in the air. And we can do this in an automatic way where both the air temperature inside the tube and the humidity level are synced together. And the warmer the air, the more moisture is added by the humidity automatically. The cooler the air, the less moisture is added automatically. Or we can do it in a manual mode where both the air temperature and the humidity are now independent. They're decoupled from each other. And we can change the air temperature independently of the humidity. We can have our air temp nice and high and our humidity really low, which we couldn't do in the automatic mode. And we can change these settings to now suit our needs. And what are, what are these needs? What, why do we wanna change them? Well, the most common one is dryness. That's what it's designed for. If you are dry, what do you need? More humidity. If you're congested, if you get a stuffy nose and you're finding it hard to breathe through your nose, what do you need? Heat and humidity. We want moisture added. Humidity is a blessing, but it can also be a curse, <laughs> especially if we're getting a lot of condensation. If we're just finding that we're getting a lot of moisture on our face, water in the tube, rain out, that sort of thing. Well, what do we want then? We want less moisture or we need more heat in the tube. I have done a few videos on it. Guys, I'll put some links in the description if you want to check out some more videos, more in-depth videos. But this one was really just to educate you on climate control so you understand it. And then once you understand something, it's much easier to put it into practice. Um, and now that's on your shoulders. <laughs> I'll leave it at that, guys. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. I am now offering memberships to the channel as well. Yes, it's a small cost per month. However, you will get a few more perks and I will really appreciate it too because it takes a lot of my time up making these videos, replying to comments and the rest. I love it, but it does take up a lot of time. And we've also got a great Facebook group, 6,500 friendly, helpful members. So if you are on Facebook, I know not everyone's on Facebook, head on over there, check out the links in the description, say hi to everyone, lots of great information on the Facebook group. And until next time, guys, sleep well, look out for your mates, and I'll see you soon. Have a good one. This video is made possible by my amazing channel members. You're all bloody legends. My best mates, Lloyd, Jay Dizzle, Avril, Ed, Karen, Willie Boy, Phil, Edith Hagar, Laszlo, Victor, Omar, Dion, Mitchie, Denise, Rachel, Peter, Maddie, Kathy Bacon, admin on the Facebook group. Brady, Bo, Ruth Behrens, 
Ron, Simo, Diana Catrick Bates, and North Boy. Love you guys. And me great mates. Can't forget me great mates. Poe Territory, David Miller, Ashley, Sanook Weather, Russ Weatherill, Craig, Heyad, Humble, Robert, Simeon, WS, Chucky, Jerry. And me good old mates. God bless them. Todd, Rexy, Dog, Jeff, John, Lewis, Taryn, Elaine, Alan, Ray, CG, Serge, Darby O'Toole, Mary Orr, Barbara Tanner, could be Mitchie's mum, Warren Hines, Ryan, Sharon, Trish, Justine, Greg, Zippy7, Steve-O, Hamish, Andrew, Brian, Sean, Anthony, Eric M, Ben Cahill, Katrina Thomas, PC Italian, Papa Smurfs, Tinker Shop, Jay, now there's a tongue twister, Keith Thompson, Derek, Ricardo, Malcolm, Teresa, Mike, Brenda, Andrew, Ann, Dustin, Kasun, Johan, Stan, Evan, Garfish63, Matthew, Dulish Page, Robert Kellett, David Williams, Joe Cannon, Fista Works, Jared McKeon, Tree Sprite, Daniel Kalming, Donald Dodson, Daniel, Richard, Mike O, Jane, Chris, Leslie, Script C, Emma Goldberg, Melody, Caruthers, Louisa, Walter, Jeff, Carl, Poe again, Post back again, <laughs> Kevin Hillbrunner, Tammy Lenz, and Buyer PC DVD. God bless you guys. Thanks for your support. Really appreciate it. Have a good one.